Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. I got a sample in the mail the other day of a product that just just launched and I think it's a really cool idea so I wanted to make a video and share it with you. I have with me a Redshift PCB Anthelion and I had to look that up to make sure that I was pronouncing it right. It is an Anthelion and what is an Anthelion you ask? Well, an Anthelion is a bolt-on, well I guess stick-on modification that you can make to your Cobb system to sort of breathe some new life into it. You know how everybody is adding reds right now, like HLG has their R-Spec quantum boards, Chilled has 660s on their pucks, uh, PLC has photo boost strips with the Cree XPEs. Well, if you're sitting there with like a straight 3000K or 3500K Cobb system that's pure white, you might kind of feel like you're missing the boat. But these Anthelians are your ticket to the Cool Kids Club. The Anthelion is built with six Samsung LM351H 660 nanometer deep red diodes and is equipped with the standard Molex connector that you see just about everywhere. To install mine, I applied the thermal tape ring to my 140 millimeter heatsink using the outer edge as a guide and then threw the Anthelion down on top. The tape is going to stick out a bit on either side, but you can trim it off with a knife if you feel so inclined, but uh, make sure to line up the outer edges of the sink and the thermal tape, because if you leave a little gap between them like I did initially, your thermal tape isn't going to fit quite right and it's super sticky stuff, so removing it and reapplying is kind of tricky. On the board you'll see a printed rating for a max current of 1000 milliamps and an expected voltage range of about 11 to 14.4 volts. In my testing, sending a little under a thousand milliamps of current to my anthelion produced a voltage of around 14.7, which slowly decreased as the board heated up. I'd recommend running these things at about 700 milliamps, at which you can expect a voltage of 13.2 to about 13.3. These six diodes have quite an effect on the color temperature of the light of a white cob. I rigged up a 3500K Cree CXB3590 with an anthelion in a 2x2 tent just to see how much it changed the color of the light, and on my little test light the cob is running at just 700 milliamps, which is a pretty damn low current, so the red of the anthelion really came through. The anthelion was running at 1000 milliamps, and it was clear when it was on versus when it was just the cob alone. I'd like to see results from somebody who has access to a meter that will actually read color temperature too. Although these things aren't really meant to increase your PPFD a whole lot, I was curious to see how much par it would add to the cob in the tent. This was just a quick and dirty test and I didn't even measure the distance from the light to the sensor, but I found that at 700 milliamps, the cob was doing about 210 micromoles per meter squared per second on its own, and then turning the anthelion on at 1000 milliamps brought it up to about 330 micromoles per meter squared per second, for a total of 120 micromoles added. As far as drivers go for the Anthelions, if you're running just a single unit, I'd go with something like a Meanwell APC-12700. If you're doing a pair of them, you could do a Meanwell APC-25700. And if you're doing four to seven of these things, your best bet for a constant current source would be a Meanwell HLG-60HC700. I think these boards are an easy way to update your Cobb build if you want to follow the current DIY trend towards incorporating reds, and they're relatively inexpensive to boot. If you're looking to get more info on these Anthelians, check out redshiftpcb.com and I'll link that down in the description. Until next time guys.